What's up everybody, this is Mr. Second Passport. Today we're gonna cover, I think, a problem for many of us, or at least a kind of a worry uh, of possibly buying property in Ecuador, and that is how the heck are we going to pay our utility bills and things of that nature uh, from a distance, say if we don't live in Ecuador full time and we're in the US, you know, how can we pay our utility bills? Like, uh, if you're local here in Ecuador, it's pretty easy. You can, uh, if you want to do it old school style, like many Ecuadorians, you can take the bill and you can go up to uh, a lot of different banks or this uh, uh, company called Servipagos and you just pay it in cash, right, every month. If you really want to do it that way, uh, you know, that's fine and they'll charge you a little commission or whatever. But what, what do you do if you're far away? Well, a lot, of, a lot of different utilities like the internet or cable TV will very easily let you do direct uh, deposit payments, uh, direct debits from your bank account if that's how you wanna do it, right? That's how, that's how I've done it. But an Ecuadorian bank account only as far as I can see, you know, they will let you do that or maybe a credit, credit card as well. Um, so, you know, you can do the direct direct debit route with a few of the the main commercial services. But what about the water and electric? You can you can try to set that up, but it's more complicated. Um, so what I do is I just I pay those the water and electric uh, manually. There's no gas bills in Ecuador really because um, everyone just buys tanks. And if you're in a building like uh, where I where I have a unit in Guayaquil, uh, they just include it in your monthly association fee. Usually, like one like right, the gas bill right into the into the payment. If if there's even gas at all uh, in the building. In fact, now that I think about it, uh, my unit's pretty much all electric. So anyway, just something to think about. So what's one easy way? Well. You need to get a bank account or a cooperative, and, and my bank account, they all kind of work the same here. Uh, Produ Banco is the one I got. Pichincha also works great too, has very easy back end. And when you get the bank account, you just log in here, um, right? You click on Banco de Personas, it lets you log in. And here we are, here's my back end, and over here on the sidebar, very easy, payment uh, of services, right? Pago de servicios. It is in Spanish, but it's uh, not many words, so it's pretty, and they're pretty similar to English, so it's, it's not like Chinese or something. It's not too difficult. And you just click on this first link here, consulta y registro de servicios. And what you can do is, like I've done, is you just register your different services one time and then you can just click and pay them in the future like I'm about to show you right now super easy click click done um, once a month or whatever whenever you're it's about the same time every month that both the, your water and your electric will come due so from for the from the previous month so anyway you just click on new here and you can even pay the SRI the Ecuadorian IRS the SINEL is the Guayaquil Electric uh, Company, and then there's another one uh, for the Quito Electric Company, and different one for Galapagos. It's it, when you're even when you're living here, it's super tough. Being that I live in Quito and I have a property in Guayaquil, I've found it super tough to pay the electric bill in person. A lot of banks and a lot of people, uh, different institutions, just will not allow you to pay Guayaquil electric bills in Quito as if it was a different country or something so anyway but you can do it right online um, and you just look for it uh, in here in Proto Banco here I try the one to start with Mir for whatever reason Electrica Guayaquil and you just select that and then you type in your your account number right where it says Contrapartida and then you just type a you know an alias for the account and then you go to the next step and you confirm, right? And then it asks you to, just like when you're paying these things, once they've already been enlisted, um, 
You need to download this app to your phone. It's actually easier than it sounds. Uh, this is my phone here. It's uh, it's called Entrust, the Entrust app, right? You just download that. It looks just like that. And uh, then it gives you these numbers for a certain periods of time in order for you to verify who you are like it's asking me to do right here. And then on the last step, I won't completely finish it because um, it's just a dummy trial. Then uh, you'll just confirm. And then you'll, you should see your name pop up if you entered your, your account correctly. should pop right in there. And you can pay the ES, right, the Social Security system this way. Uh, oh, pretty much any of the services that I've found, right? Quito Water, Guayaquil Water, um, CNT, Claro. You can add minutes to your phone this way. You don't have to be going out to the local tienda every time. You run out of minutes on your phone if you're prepaid, you know, stuff like that. Um, Movistar, you can pay those bills too. And uh, then once you have the service enlisted, you go to Pago de Servicios, Payment of Services here, and you click over the number here. This is how it works here in the Proto Banco um, app. And you just click, say I'm trying to pay the, the Guayaquil. I think I just paid it, so nothing will come up. But then it comes up your account right here, and you just click, click through the same process. Final step, payment, and that's it. Um, it's paid. Uh, super fast, super easy. You can do from anywhere on the globe and stay up to date on your payments for a property in Ecuador. So basically, you want to get a bank account, preferably here in Ecuador if you do buy property here. If you're not a if you're not a legal resident, it might be difficult to get a bank account at one of the bigger banks like Proto Banco, like the one I have here that I'm showing you. Uh, but you could try, uh, you know, one of the local cooperatives and and make sure they have a back end as well where you can um, where you can pay, uh, just like this. Anyway, I'm Mr. Second Passport. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button below. Take care.